David, a man was walking home when he was struck and killed in the small town of Hartford, Michigan last month. The driver took off, and this hit-and-run case is still unsolved. Lieutenant Cindy Kilgore from Crime Stoppers joins us now to tell us more about this week's Crime Watch. You know, especially with hit-and-runs, time is of the essence sure. because a good bit of evidence is going to be the vehicle, obviously, that struck the person. Yeah, so what happened? Jewel Scott, he went by Goble, is a Hartford, Michigan native. He uh, was walking home that night. He was actually staying with his mom temporarily. And it's on Linden Street uh, on February 7th, just uh, two mo last month. And it's a very narrow residential street. And very little traffic, I would assume. It's a 25 mile an hour speed limit there. And his mom had actually texted him that night at 1.30. She spoke to him at 1.45 in the morning. And then at about 2.30, a passerby saw his body laying in the street. So in that short window of time, he was struck and killed on Linden Street. Mom said that uh, he lived, they, they moved to Missouri, St. Louis area briefly while she was taking care of her elderly mom. He moved down there to help her take care of his grandma. He uh, met and ended up marrying another Hartford native and they then moved to Arkansas to be with her family. They were there for a couple years. He was taking college courses in robotics. So he was very interested in that. Um, they have two small children. They wanted to move back to Hartford to their roots. He took a job with his uncle's metal finishing business, and he intended to get back into school and take more classes in robotics. So he's got two older sons that are in their 20s, and they have two kids. So he had two grandkids, two grandkids on the way, and two little children, two years wow. old and nine months old. So how, how tragic that his young children are never going to know him, that right. his grandchildren will never know him. His mom said that at 5 in the morning she was alarmed that he hadn't returned. He, she tried calling him, no answer on his cell phone, and it was later that morning that the knock came at the door and it was the police to inform her of what had happened. Now, it's believed that this happened around 1.30 in the about morning? About 2.30, because 30? she texted with him at 1.30, spoke with him at about 1.45, and it was 2.30 that a passerby called in and reported. So and somewhere this was, in the middle of the night, if someone knows something that happened mm -hmm. in Hartford, yes. please call police. Yes, it's possible this was intentional. It's possible it was accidental. But they've, if it's accidental especially, it's time to come forward. Okay anybody that knows anything. All right, and of course, we'll link for more information for Crime Stoppers on our website, WNDU.com. Click on the big red bar. Thank you, Cindy, for coming and sharing this story this morning. We'll be back with a check of your top news stories and a look at that Storm Team 16 forecast. And yeah, we're going to talk about snow. Stay with us.